Hey, church family, in Hosea chapter 4, the Lord accuses the northern kingdom of Israel of turning their backs on him in order to follow after idols. In verses 1 and 2, he cites evidence of their behavior. He says, There is no faithfulness or steadfast love and no knowledge of God in the land. There is swearing, lying, murder, stealing, and committing adultery. They break all bounds and bloodshed follows bloodshed. And because of their behavior, they were experiencing severe consequences. We read this in verse 3. Therefore the land mourns, and all who dwell in it languish, and also the beasts of the field, and the birds of the heavens, and even the fish of the sea are taken away. The people of the land had forsaken their Lord, and they were experiencing great consequences because of that. In verses 4 through 14, God lays the blame for this behavior at the feet of the priests. The priests were supposed to be the shepherds of God's people. They were supposed to point God's people to God. They were supposed to lead God's people to follow God. But rather than doing that, they led them astray. Because they had forsaken God, because they had forgotten God, because they had forgotten the word of God, and because of their greed, the priests failed the people, and the people suffered. As we consider this chapter, there are really two truths that we can take away. The first is that as human beings who are sinful, we also need a priest to point us to God, to make a way for us to God. But as we look at the priests of the Old Testament, we realize that they were human and that they were sinful and that they were inadequate to do what needed to be done. But as followers of Christ, we believe that Jesus Christ is our great high priest and that he made a way for us to have access to God. In Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 through 16, the author of Hebrews writes this, Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let us give thanks that Jesus Christ is our great high priest. But the second truth we can take away from today is that as believers that you and I serve as priests, not as a way, not as people who will make a way to God, but as people who will point the way to God. In 1 Peter 2, 9, the apostle Peter wrote this, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. As priests of our loving Father, let us point people to Jesus, because we know that he is the true great high priest, he is without sin, and He has made a way for us to be reconciled with the Father. Enjoy your time with Jesus today.